Both shoes, they are pretty much unisex. One of the shoes that must have on almost everybody wardrobe except my wardrobe. Uh, this is the first time that I ever do bow shoes because to me, in my opinion, I think this is the most ugliest shoe that I ever do review on YouTube channel uh, because bow shoes to me is never a good look. Um, I never like bow shoes. I think bow shoes is just very ugly type of shoe and I never wish myself to wear. However, I appreciate the craftsmanship on this uh, type of shoe because this bow shoe is bring me back to a little bit of my good memory when I was studying footwear design, studying pattern making on both show. It was a disaster. A uh, bow shoes pattern is the hardest one to make and it's not easy. You gotta be very precise when you make the patterns of this bow show if you are a beginner. And also I wasn't really pay attention to instruction because I think I would never wear them and I would never hand make them myself. Even when I have these shoes on my desk, my younger brother will complain, what? You getting bow shoe? This is the ugly ass type of shoe. Why did you get this shoe? But the thing is when you work in footwear and you become footwear designer and the company that you work for, they definitely gonna add bow shoe style in their collection. So you must force yourself to love bow shoe. I got these bow shoes from Timberland. Um, Timberland have a good reputation on their bow shoe style, so that's why I bought them for review. Uh, my first impression when I unboxed the shoe, uh, they look very good. I mean, the quality leather that they use is premium and kind of heavy duty type of leather. Uh, the pricing on this though is only $110. It's kind of surprised me to be honest with you with the very nice and premium leather like this uh, and the craftsmanship on this upper is very good they should charge you a little bit extra not just 110 dollars because in that price point you can find 110 dollars with synthetic leather on the sneakers and also the stitching part around the toe area as well as in the back of the heel counter they are hand stitched with those labor time consuming when they do hand stitch on the products they must cost you more than $110 the only thing that I do not like about these shoes is the leather lace that they use uh, the quality of this leather lace is not that good compared to uh, the leather that they use on the upper it's a little bit inexpensive but hey who cares about this leather lace you can just go to the leather districts and to get some leather lace for like four dollars and Timberland they actually offer you two different type of bow shoes uh, the first one is this kind of flat and thin outsole and the second one is they offer you more like a clutch outsole pattern so it's a little bit more aggressive if you are looking for the classic type of bow shoes this is the style that you must have and try out. Uh, Timberland done a very good job, you know, and they do not have a lot of branding on this upper. They just have the embossed tiny Timberland brand in the quarter of the show. And in the back of the hue counter, you can see they have the deboss of the Timberland text on it. Uh, that's pretty much is uh, the branding that they have on the show. This branding on the show though, they not that visible because the branding they are pretty much tonal with the leather of this upper, which is thank God because I do not like to wear the shoes like a classic traditional type of shoes that have too much branding or visible branding on the upper of the shoe, you know, like a Derby or Oxford. And these bow shoes, they pretty much don't really have the lining material. They basically just use the back part of the leather 
of this upper material as the linings and the insole of this Timberland bow shoes, they are pretty much very comfortable. You know, they give you extra cushioning compared to the regular foam. I think material that they use on this insole is planned between EVA and foam. That's why you see the texture on this insole, they are different than just foam socks liner along man you pay for 110 dollars for a premium leather material on the upper and they have hand sewing craftsmanship on the shoe as well as the comforts man where can you find this type of shoes with the same price like this and go to the rubber also tooling and they mark at non-marking sole and in the middle of this also they have the timberland branding logo in my opinion, both shoes in Timberland is worth the money you pay for. And styling with these shoes, I think is very easy. Even though I never really wear both shoes before in my life, nor I love both shoes, but I actually have fun when I'm styling with this shoe. No matter what type of shoes that I hate, I still enjoy the styling part. And up next, I'm going to share with you guys how I would like to style them. So there you go, what you think about these both shoes and the way how I style them. When I wear some clothes styling with the shoe, I feel actually it's, it's kind of a little bit grow in me, but I'm just like snap myself back to reality that I do not like both shoes. I think I've done pretty good job styling with this ugly shoe. I mean, I still never a fan of it. Perhaps maybe I'm get older, like uh, 60 or 70. Maybe I will change my mind to wear bow shoes now. I don't think I can wear bow shoes. I just feel like bow shoes is just very mature type of shoe. I'm not mature yet, so that's why I'm not into bow shoes. And if you like one of the look in this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm out.